SMT Nation, we back. Nation, big update at a Verizon, huge network update. Uh, they are about to unleash the full bandwidth potential of their C-band across the country. Uh, I want to make sure that I lay this out properly so you guys understand uh, what the update represents and what it's going to mean for Verizon and their customers. All right, so let's talk about it here in this video. I'll be sure to link this post. It's a Reddit post. Uh, someone sharing this screenshot from their device showing the network configuration changes at Verizon. That'll be in the description and ways to support us. Want to show your appreciation for the content down in the description as well. All right, so pictured here from this Reddit post, the market is Johnstown, Pennsylvania, neighboring, you know, state of mine as a, we're in an Ohio market here. Uh, but what we're seeing is Verizon C-band bandwidth increasing to 160 megahertz. For those of you that have been following the channel, you know that Samsung radio gear has been stuck at 100 megahertz bandwidth. Uh, the thing about Verizon C-band holdings, N77, uh, they hold at least 140 megahertz in markets across the country. Some markets 160, 180, or even 200. If you are in an Ericsson market, you have been enjoying the full bandwidth for months. If you've been in a Samsung market like Johnstown, PA, like Cleveland, Ohio, You've been stuck on 100 megahertz, so you're waiting for the rest of the bandwidth, which would come in a new carrier aggregation configuration. So the 100 megahertz plus the additional, which in my case is 40 megahertz, and Johnstown PA is 60 megahertz. Well, now it looks to be active. So the engineers there have done the radio configurations, the retunes, and they've added the bandwidth to the configuration. You'll see bandwidth 100 megahertz and 77 in the middle, and I think I can show you guys here. Uh, you'll see NR band N77 is active, 100 megahertz of bandwidth. You'll see it's on an NSA connection, so st still using LTE as an anchor. Uh, but you will see the additional carrier aggregation setting where it says NR num CC1. That is the additional carrier with the frequency and the bandwidth at 60 megahertz. So there we have it, folks. We have a move that is ongoing. Uh, basically at this point, because Samsung appears to have the update, and it's been available to Verizon. It's just up to the engineering teams within specific markets to do the radio configuration updates for the additional bandwidth. So what does this mean to us? At this point, this means that the Verizon network is going to be at full potential based on all the bandwidth that they have licenses for. So that means if you're in Johnstown, PA, if you're in Cleveland, Ohio, if you're in Toledo, if you're in Columbus, any market that is Samsung radio gear, you're going to get the rest of the bandwidth aggregation. Got to make sure you've got the phone, right? So newer iPhone, newer Galaxy. This is appears to be a Galaxy of some sort. Uh, I'm assuming maybe an S23 or a Flip or a Fold, a new modern one uh, showing that. So you're going to have to take advantage of it that way. Additionally, this is more speed, right? More capacity. They can put more users on the Verizon 5G home internet. They can alleviate the the limitations of capacity and congestion in markets where they have too much market share. Really for Verizon now, the focus is just going to be upgrading backhaul to 10 gig fiber, or you got to increase the circuits, and then uh, just scaling the upgrades across the country. Big shout out to Chaim who found this, spotted out, and shared it with me. Uh, Verizon, full potential Verizon C-band on deck coming soon. Stay tuned. I'll be sharing footage and testing when my market gets this configuration update. It might be site to site. All right, so you might get on some sites, you might see it kind of not on others, uh, but market-wide, most definitely, guys, this will be happening in the ongoing weeks. By the end of October through November, this should be done in most markets. Uh, and that's it. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know what you've been seeing, if you've been testing it and looking at your service mode logs and tell me about your experiences. Maybe you've been speed testing and you've been checking it out. Uh, this has the potential, folks, to be uh, 2 gig plus speeds. Once it goes 160, 200 megahertz, in markets it's go time uh, and of course we can compare samsung to ericsson once this does happen who's got the best radio gear looking forward to that sound off in the comment section below you are the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard